Hi, I'm creating a series of videos that will show educators how to set up a Google Sites, add a custom domain name, add Google Analytics in a matter of minutes. So this is going to be a series of videos. In this first video, I'm just going to show you real quickly what Google Sites is and how to quickly set up a Google Sites account. Google Sites essentially is just a free way to create a basic website. So in this case, this is what the goal is to create to use Google Sites to create a basic website that has a custom domain name and so in this case this whole website costs about ten dollars a year and this is something that anyone with basic computer skills can edit and keep up to date so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to google sites and you can do that by going to google.com and then going to more and then scroll down to find it or you can simply go to sites.google.com in this case i'm going to log in using my wife's credentials as we're going to set up a basic website for her one of the reasons I like Google Sites, besides the fact that it's easy to add your own domain name and get your own website up in a matter of minutes for $10, $12 a year, is that if you already have a Google account, it's quick and easy to jump in. So in this case, I signed in and I don't have any websites created. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Create Site. So the first thing it wants you to do is it wants you to decide whether you want to use one of their templates. In this case, I'm just going to use Blank Template. However, I plan to add this template as one of the ones to Google, so down the line you might be able to just simply use the one that I've contributed. But in this case, I'm going to name the site Allison Lowenthal. So this is for my wife. Now, if there's ever a site called or someone with a Gmail or a Google account with the same kind of name, it's not going to let you basically create the name of your account here that you want. In this case, I'm just going to add Darcy because I think I'm pretty safe if I go that way. However, because we're going to actually add a custom domain name like this, the URL is not going to really uh, matter as much. And so you could always add numbers or dashes or underscores to work with that if you needed to. But start off by trying to do you know, real basic things like Allison Lowenthal, like that. And then when you try to enter this information, when enter, it will let me know if it's not available like it just did, right? So now you have to go to plan B and you try to figure out something that works. So there it goes. I was just like that able to create my site. So now to basically the interface is pretty simple. You have this pencil that allows you to edit the page. This allows you to add new pages and then you have a bunch of options under more. And then with share you have the ability to make this available for anyone on the web to see or someone who just says you are out or you have the ability where someone has to sign in and you can give them permissions. So There's a lot of flexibility. In this case, we're going to start off by managing the layout of the site. So we're going to go to Manage Site. And if you scroll down to the left, you'll see Site Layout. We're going to start there. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure search, and I'm going to actually undo search. Because this is going to be such a small website, and for most educators, it's not that big of a website. The search isn't really that important. So I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to go to Change Site Layout. In this case, I'm going to change the width because the typical faculty's website tends to not have that much content. And so I'm just going to add 900 pixels. That's going to be my base, basic width. And I could play with how I want my alignment, how I want my navigation to go. I can change, you know, if I wanted a horizontal navigation bar, I could do that. I could change, do I want a sidebar or not? Right now, I'm just going to leave the sidebar. I'm going to leave it to the left. I'm going to leave it at 150 pixels. And I'm going to leave, I'm going to do a footer. I'm going to leave that as 30, 30 pixels high. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to scroll down and do colors and fonts. Actually, I'm going to hit save on this page and hit save. So it reminded me. And I'm going to hit Colors and Fonts now. And so I have a lot of options here. In this case, I'm just going to, I can look through some of these on the left, but I'm going to hit Custom. I'm just going to add a, we'll do this, a nice kind of dark rust color. And I could go through here with the page font. I could decide what I want my page font to be. See, if I hit Custom, I can start dialing down and deciding what I want my font to be. I tend to recommend, you know, to be as basic as possible. So I'm going to keep a normal font myself. And I could play with other things as I see fit. So even in the site header, I could decide that I want the, let's say, the font size, for instance, to be 24. 
and I could decide on the font itself I could decide what I want it to be and I could do the color the same thing right so that's the way this basic works and play around with this experiment as you see fit I'm going to hit save and then once it says its changes have been saved, I'm going to go to the home page. So just like that, I've set up the basic site. You can see that it actually kept the search. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to manage site, and I'm just going to check on that once more. Site layout. Configure search. I'm going to hit enable, OK, and save. Go back to the home page. All right. So now I'm going to basically just create a couple of pages. So I'm going to hit new page. And I'm going to create a page called Research. I'm going to leave it at the top level. And I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to hit Save. I could add my content right there, but right now I'm just creating the layout. So I'm going to create a page called Teaching. And basically I'm just working with the basic idea of faculty who are scholarship is really thought of as consisting of research, teaching, and service. I'm going to hit Save. Hit last page and I'm going to add service and I'm going to hit create. So just like that I've created my basic site here. My basic site with my basic, it consists of a home page, a research page, a service page, a teaching page, and then a site map. Site maps tend to not be needed in the sense of it's not that complex of a site. Site maps though can help with search engine optimization, so they're not a bad idea. You might decide you don't really want it as a part of your navigation, and I believe that there's a way to hide that. But for now, we're just going to go back to home, and the basic idea is when you want to edit, you just click the pencil, and you start typing in. And then with this, you know, you basically can highlight and work just like if you've used Google Docs before or anything else. That's basically the way it would work. You can link to things. And so if you click the link, you'll see how that works. And so there's, you know, it's as you become more comfortable with it, it'll start to make sense. It's not that complex. It'll even allow you to do some basic things with HTML. But for the most part, it's a real basic tool. And so it's just meant to add basic content, add some attachments, etc., and move on. So in this case, I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to take a look at edit sidebar. And so edit sidebar, I can look at my navigation and edit. And this is where I could decide do I want, I want to include a link to my sitemap or not. I can look at a number of other options. I can even decide maybe I want to I want teaching to be first. So I could click on that and click up, and I can change the order that way. I can decide to display the navigation title or not, or I could call this what I wanted. So in this case, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save. So now that I've shown you the basic options under Edit Sidebar, I'm just going to go ahead and actually remove that sitemap. It'll still exist for search engine, but I don't want it showing up as one of my main navigation, just to keep it simple and clean. So this is my basic site. So just like that, in a few minutes, we got it up and running. In the next couple of videos, we're going to focus on how to add a custom domain name as well as how to add Google Analytics so you can track the number of users to your site. Thanks.